very nice. This was by last week. Now I'm going to have, when she comes up, I'm going to pass out. Not, I'm going to pass out, but I'm going to pass out some sheets. And um, you want to pass, uh, the Senate will help me out. Let's give everyone votes, please. Give everyone one of those. You want to do your job. You want to pass those out. Give everyone one of these. Uh, a couple, couple other people. what these are afterwards. So, no one's writing, no one's looking at the sheet, no one's looking at the music. Sometimes I like it. I ask about for you to look at the okay. music. So again, at this time, I want you to just listen. You all know. Let's first see what we have. Okay? Let's play a few notes. And then, um, why, don't, tell you, why don't you tell them a little bit about them? Um, so, Debussy was born and died in France. August 22nd, 1852 to March 25th, 1918. Um, he spearheaded the Impressionist movement in France, which was a protest against romantics, especially like German composers like Brahms and Wagner, to show the image idea of something, or instead of like the reality of something, that's the main idea of Impressionism in both music and like visual art. Um, he went to the Conservatoire de Paris at age 10 for piano, but he preferred to compose. And Searing is one of his later works, and this edition was published after he died in 1927. And what was it originally written for? It was, um, I'm forgetting the word, it was incidental music to a ballet. Which was named what? Psyche. Psyche. Psyche, right. And which, and this was the beginning, this is the introduction of the third act. This was actually not a solo flute piece, this is just in incidental music in a play. That's all it was. Not until he decided to do it. So, um, and um, as you're listening to this, what somebody help me here. So what are the scales that Debussy uses? What, what, he, he's fighting, Debussy fights against. He wants to mask tonality. He wants to mask rhythm. He wants to mask intervallic work because he thinks we live too much in reality. That's why he didn't like Brahms. He was fighting against Brahms because he's saying, what, why, why the impressions, whether they're painting a tree or whatever they're painting, it's why do we have to do that? We have reality every day. Why don't we have the image of life, not reality of life? That's what their whole point was. Somebody want to tell me who America's Debussy was? Who is America's Debussy? Griffiths. Thank you very much. Griffiths, Charles Griffiths. America's Debussy, our one impressionist, pure impressionist. It was like Debussy. Also died very young. So, so when you're listening to this, what scales does Debussy tend to use? Which two scales? Whole tone. Whole tone and pentatonic. Yeah, whole tone and pentatonic. All right, why don't you play a couple notes and then I'll.
make the music, whether it's a box sonata, whether it's a string, is that we whip the flute down when we finish movements. You've got to make sure you let the listener finish the piece. Um, all right, I'm going to tell you what these two sheets are very quickly. And um, if we don't have time, maybe even after break, I'll take a couple minutes and, and show you. Robin Fellows, who taught at the, the University of Wisconsin at the Milwaukee, played in Milwaukee Center for a while, I was here, I had him here a few years ago. And one of the things he really specialized was French music, that's something he really liked to do. And so he had gone to Paris, to Salabert, to the, and no one, no one lets anyone do this. Salabert ne never lets anyone see the manuscripts of any of these pieces, period. Well, he got special permission. He bugged him and bugged him and got special permission and got into the vault and took pictures of Debussy's syrinx. Nobody else that I know of has ever done this. So he was kind enough, I keep this on my computer actually, now he was kind enough to send me these when he came into the master class. So these are actually the manuscripts, the copies of the original manuscripts. The one that you see, pretty amazing to have. But the other sheet I gave you was his Addition. If you look at it later when you have time, you will see dotted lines. If you look at the original strings, you'll see places where he did, where Debussy never put slurs. A lot of slurs that he left off. So it was conjecture as to what the addition was going to be, right? And so I, what I gave you was Robin Fellow's addition of what he took from the, the from that. So just as a couple things that we may talk about this a little more. Now, in terms of the opening, I, I think there are a lot of beautiful things here. If I were to make one comment, what, let me ask you, when you take this, is there anything that you, that when you look, because there are a lot of beautiful things, not about whether it's about your playing, is there anything that you sometimes feel happens, a couple things that, that you feel that you would like more of, or throughout the, in, in terms of making the piece happen? I feel like in general, it's just like established, like the first, I don't, I don't know if you guys have the same music I do, but like the first line, it's just the first two measures, and then it's just like different, Right now. Like, it changes it, like alters it slightly. Basically, the first two, they're the introduction, and the piece yeah. starts. The piece starts in bar three. The opening is, gives you the tonal material. It gives you the tonal material. It gives you the whole tone scale, and it tells you, the, it gives you the three pillars. You have the first one, the second one with a pickup, and the third one with an extended pickup. sound for this opening. I wouldn't use the one and one. But you get a much more veiled quality, but then that must support that. Then I'd let it move a bit. Try the opening. And I would take a little more time at the end of I'm, I'm exaggerating. Yeah. I wouldn't let that get jump. I mean to make that jump. But you say I mean the yeah. opening. Try. No, 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 no. Don't you even look at that music. Yeah, yeah and I would be careful the 30 seconds don't flip. Because remember, they're not. It's See, I don't think we have to worry about that. But the, if you're thinking of the pillars, Hey. 
this breaking mechanism, right? next two spots, people. Notice the first one has no diminuendo. Uh, when you count. I put a dash over that because you don't want, it's the, what that is, is dee da dee da, dee da da dee. But the next one, look at the next line, changes it. And I always use a harmonic here. This time he changes it. See what I mean? Now, let me just make a quick comment about this next line. Check the note. Did you hear the, did you hear the note right here? Careful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, careful. When you work on this passage, I was showing this to Quick. You can't do this enough. I mean, whenever I get ready to do this, I'm going to do a lot of play. Oh, yes.
every year, every year we lose somebody in a car accident, and their name goes on that, that, uh, on the, that the heart out there. Please, if you're going home this week, take your time. I don't worry about your driving. I worry about the other idiots. They're on the road in the Adirondack, those of you going downtown, and they're coming around wide.